Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to be before you this morning. I am Rodney Ellis. I'm a middle school language arts teacher from the Winston State Woodside County School System, currently serving as president of the North Carolina Association of Educators. We appreciate this community's work last year on a number of issues, including additional funding for textbooks, instructional resources, and technology, and also helping to save 8,500 teacher assistant positions. We also appreciate the recognition on the House floor this week of National Teacher Appreciation, uh, National Teacher Day during this National Teacher Appreciation Week. However, there's still a lot of work to do to put this state in a position to be a leader again in public education and for North Carolina to once again be heralded as a teacher destination state. Public school educators across this state from Murphy to Manual are touching the lives of more than 1.5 million students and their work extends far beyond the borders of the classroom. Educators are everyday heroes in the classrooms and our communities, and I believe with all my heart, but right now, they don't believe it, and they don't feel it. Whatever your profession, a doctor, lawyer, representative, or reporter, educators have helped make that possible. Honoring our teachers can't just be celebrated on one day of the week. That's why we are asking our state elected officials to stand with us to restore respect to the education profession. I'm in school buildings all the time and there are light bulb moments for students and educators happening in the classrooms every day. But we have to make certain those opportunities are not burning out. North Carolina's teacher turnover rate is at an unacceptably high level, the highest in at least the last 15 years. There are nearly 30% fewer students enrolled in our teacher training programs at our higher institutions of learning and this is a dangerous territory for our public school students. In order to recruit and retain the best educators to help every student, regardless of zip code or status, have an opportunity at success, we must restore respect to the education profession and make a North Carolina a teacher destination state once again. To do that, we have to ensure that our classrooms have the resources for our students and our teachers. North Carolina is 46th in per pupil spending on a textbook and instructional resources fund that is still well below pre-recession levels. There was progress on last year's on, la on this last year, thanks to Representative Foreign and other members of this committee. But I think, and I think each of you believe that our students deserve more. In addition, North Carolina ranks 42nd in average teacher pay. If some of our basketball teams in this state were ranked 42nd and 46th in the country, a state of emergency would be declared. <laughs> we must have a comprehensive plan for a professional based salary schedule and make certain that they have secure and affordable health and retirement benefits. One time bonuses are a temporary fix to a very real teacher crisis shortage that North Carolina faces. We must value our experienced educators by restoring master's pay, like the House budget did last year, but by also restoring great, a great inequity in longevity pay. Teachers are the only employees where longevity was rolled into the salary schedule and not paid as a separate bonus. All other state employees and other school personnel receive, receive longevity as a separate bonus. And just to highlight two areas this committee will not address but are critically important, to restore respect to educators, all teachers deserve basic due process through career status, and the A through F grading, school grading system must be eliminated or modified to reflect the growth of many of the students in our schools. The current system merely identifies pockets of low wealth and slaps an unnecessary and unfair label on our students. Teachers can make tremendous progress with a student, and that gets little recognition in this current program. So during National Teacher Appreciation Week, let's stand for public education, for public school students and educators, and restore respect to the profession we love by using surplus budgets to invest in the economic future of our state, which is public education. Thank you, and we stand ready to work with you to give our students the school they deserve. Thank you, Mr. Ellis.